He is considered to be the greatest physicist experimentalist in the history of science. He constructed a model of electric motor and laid the basics of the modern electroenergetics. As Russian physicist Stolotov said, after Galileo there have never been so many amazing discoveries in the world being ascended from one man. It is not like the world will have another Faraday. Michael Faraday was born in 1791 in the suburbs of London into a blacksmith's family. The scarce family income didn't allow him even to go to public school. At the age of 13, he was an apprentice bookbinder in a bookshop. Michael was fond of reading, especially he was impressed by works on chemistry and articles on electricity, the new trend of science during those times. One of the customers at the bookshop noticed the young bookbinder and bibliophile and gave him the invitation to the lectures of English chemist Davy. Faraday had neatly written down four lectures, bound them, and sent them to the famous scientist. He also claimed that he would like to work with Davy. Of course, Davy rejected the youth, although several days later, the scientist had damaged his eye during a chemical experiment and promptly needed an assistant. That was how the son of a blacksmith, a self-made genius, Michael Faraday, became an assistant of the famous chemist. Humphrey Davy would say afterwards that among all his discoveries, the most significant was his discovery of Faraday. He published about 40 scientific works and was the first in history who obtained benzol, liquid chlorine, and ammonium hydrate. After Danish physicist Erstad had discovered electrical magnetism in 1820, Faraday became interested in correlation between electric and magnetic fields. Yet in a year, the 30-year-old scientist made his first discovery in that field, making a magnet to spin around the conductor under current. Indeed, Faraday built the first electric engine in the history of techniques. In 1827, being the head of the professor's department, Faraday was still out of money and could hardly be able to maintain himself and his wife Sarah. His friends helped the scientist to obtain a life pension. Though the minister at the Mint found out that such expenses were just a waste of funds. Then, out of self-respect, Faraday sent a letter to the high official denying such tips from the government. The minister had to beg the pardon from the talented scientist. Thinking about correlation of different types of energy, Michael Faraday set another goal, to convert magnetism into electricity. He completed the task successfully. On August 29, 1831, Faraday observed the phenomenon of magnetic induction and made the first electric generator in the world. Though the building of modern electric energy generators is more complex, all of them, from a bike lamp to a mighty power station, work on the basic principle which Michael Faraday discovered. Faraday was not interested in practical application of his discoveries. First of all, he wanted to research the laws of nature. He laid the base for the study of electromagnetic field. That idea, as Einstein said, was the most important scientific achievement from the times of Newton. Biographers commented on Faraday's amazing ability to work. Faraday literally lives in lab among his instruments. His eye is always alert. He moves fast and accurate. He is unbelievably smart in experimenting. German scientist Hemholtz was captured by the moral qualities of Faraday. I have never met before such prepossessing character, he wrote. During 1833 and 1834, Faraday conducted researches on electric chemistry and formulated the laws of electrolysis, which were named the laws of Faraday. He introduced into scientific practice the terms that we use nowadays, such as ion, anode, cathode, electrolytes, etc. The constant mental efforts had an adverse effect on Faraday's health. 
he had to interrupt his scientific works for five years. Returning to his researches in 1848, the scientist discovered the so-called Faraday effect, the first point of correlation between optics and electric magnetism. Excited by his opening, Faraday wrote that he implied magnetic field into light and lightened the magnetic power line. Nearing 70, his memory showed signs of weakening. In his lab's diary on March 12, 1862, Faraday described his last experiment numbered 16,041. He spent the last five years of his life in the manor in Hampton Court, where he died in 1867. Faraday never strived either for wealth or fame, but for his merits he was elected member of more than 70 scientific societies and academies. His work signified the new epoch in physics, though he never had his inventions authorized. Not once did he accept good positions that could bring him enormous incomes. He also refused to be promoted to the rank of nobility, saying, Thanks, but I just want to be Michael Faraday. <laughs>